A thankful heart is not only the greatest virtue, but the parent of all other virtues. Cicero. Hello, everyone. In this episode, my family talks about Thanksgiving. Now, my dad doesn't know that I'm posting this, so I'm having to record this reading separately. And as you now know, I got my great love of quotes from my dad. Are you sure the camera is on, Emma? Yes, Daddy, it's on. Good. Isabella, mind starting us off? Not at all. This is Thanksgiving 2013, and we're making our yearly list of things that we're thankful for. This time on video. <laughs> at the top of my list are my wonderful husband and new baby girl, who are both actually down for much needed naps. <laughs> Emma, what are you thankful for? Goodness. Thankful for so many things. Obviously, I'm thankful for you, Izzy. You're not thankful for me. Of course I'm thankful for you, Daddy. <laughs> You're awesome. <laughs> and then, I'm thankful that I have a lovely house to live in, and that I can attend college, and that I have plenty of really close friends. Daddy, what are you thankful for? More than anything, I'm thankful for you too. That you're healthy, strong, smart, sweet girls. Most people don't recognize what a blessing they have in the health of their family members. You both didn't eat any more of that sugary pie, did you? It's Thanksgiving, Dad. Of course we had more pie. And I'm thankful for that extra piece of pie, even if my pants aren't. I know what you mean. I'm always thankful for the good food. And this year, I'm thankful that you were able to make most of it. You mean you're thankful that I didn't burn the turkey? A burnt turkey would be better than an undercooked turkey. Meat that hasn't been brought up to the right temperature is very unhealthy. Dr. Perry was just telling me so. Very true. Where is Perry? I heard his family went out of town, which isn't like them. They went to visit Mrs. Perry's family for Thanksgiving. Her parents are getting a bit old for that much travel. I think we're getting a little off subject. Anything you guys would like to add? Well, I'm thankful for Dr. Perry, that's for sure. He's always been a good friend and co-worker. And I'm thankful for a break from classes. It's weird to think that I'm nearly halfway done with my junior year. And I'm thankful that you've made a new good friend since Anne got married. Poor Anne. She could have been a professor for a long time at Hartfield. She's happy to be married, and if she ever wants to go back to teaching, she can. Since you mentioned it, Izzy, I'm really glad to have a new friend, too. It's been really nice to get to know Harriet. I'm thankful for all our friends. The Knightleys, the Bateses, the Westons, the Perrys, and so on. They're all such blessings. Think. Where man's glory begins and ends, and say my glory was, I had such friends. William Butler Yates. That sounds like a good note to end on to me. Definitely. We've only just started, though. I, I could keep going for a while. Hey, thankfulness for how business is going, how I've not caught a cold in two years, and so on. Well, I think we should keep going, but I need to turn the camera off. The battery's about to die. And then we stopped recording. We kept talking for a long time about what we're thankful for. And I would be really interested to hear what you guys are thankful for. So leave me your list in the comments. Remember to like, favorite, share, and subscribe, and have a lovely Thanksgiving. Bye!